Yo, welcome Fronies. Today I want to share a secret with you and how I'm sometimes running up to like 10, 15 dungeons a day on my character without having to level an alt. And the key for that is Sauradoma Island, where we are currently at, because here you will find a secret chest. And why you should farm those chests, you can see right here. They come in three different sizes. The small one is giving free Abyss currency, it's going higher and higher. And then as a second reward, you will either get 300, 600 or 900 Abyssal contract tokens or dimensional contract tokens, which means if you get a large chest, that's instantly free dungeon runs on top of your daily cap. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So oh, let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. So now you probably want to know where to find those chests. And to do so, we need to have night. That means you can always go to the minimap to the top and hover over, and it will tell you how much time needs to pass until the night is coming. Then always before the night is starting, you want to prepare yourself. You're going to want to go to the waypoint of Sauradoma Island right here, to that one. Because once the night is starting, the waypoint will be locked and you cannot port there anymore. And then your only option is porting to the daybreak shore waypoint and swimming way all the way over here to the landing spot but be aware the whole area is pvp so that means when you swim there it's really hard to get back on the island make sure that you team up with your friends or your guild and position yourself already in the island before the night is starting the chest will spawn somewhat random i will have maps for that so you don't go around um, cluelessly but they will always be announced so make sure to keep uh, your eye on a chat it will always inform you when new chests are spawning in the meanwhile when you're waiting from chest to chest you can just farm the monsters there to get rid of some of your abyssal contract tokens but make sure to not use any major cooldowns so in case pvp is happening you're always ready to defend yourself or to be the aggressor i have tried to mark all the locations where the chests can spawn that does not mean that on all of those ponies a chest will spawn guaranteed those are just the average locations on where you can find chests it will be randomly selecting one of those so for the outside area you want to stay somewhat here on the hill so you have a good look on the um, on the plane and on the hill at the same time for the cave for the first half of the event you want to stay here at the start of the cave and for the second half of the event you want to be here in the bottom of the cave the chest itself are fairly easy to spot because they are having a red marker like a really big beam that almost everyone that is like somewhat close by will see and the chest will not be lootable right away there is a cooldown that means there is enough time for other people to also come to the chest that you found and you have to defend it. So PvP is often happening right at the chest and the victorious person can then loot it for himself. At the end of the event, when the large chests are spawning, they are having fixed spawn points. So I am here at the first one. This one is outside at the Karabian altar right here. And the other location inside the cave, you see I have a big <laughs> following already. It's right here on the corner all the way in the bottom. That's in the second position of the large chest. If you are uncontested, you can actually go and get both chests. So one recommendation is also like if you're playing solo, for example, or your guild can forfeit you for like a while, it makes sense to go to a server that is um, the least populated. So you have the highest chance of those chests because the value of those extra dungeon runs together with the abyss currency, it's just a crazy amount of lucent that you're able to farm that way completely free to play. Option number two is that you are joining a good PvP guild because good PvP guilds have a way easier time um, cutting off other guilds from that location and blaming the chest for themselves. Yeah, guys, if you still have any questions about the game, just leave a comment below the video. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys. Uh -huh.